Hi, I'm Art Kaplan from the Division of Medical Ethics at the NYU Langone Medical Center. Little Ezekiel Stefan is dead, and that is a tragedy. It's a tragedy for his parents. It's a tragedy for his community. The little boy died of meningitis in a small town up in Manitoba, Canada. But it's something that shouldn't have happened and could have been prevented because the little boy could have been treated. His parents chose out of loving concern for him to pursue alternative medicine. In this case, they knew the boy was sick. They fed him smoothies made out of maple syrup and horseradish and other ingredients. They went to the uh, natural food store. The uh, father actually worked there and got some immune boosting agent to give to him. I don't know what it was. They basically tried to do everything outside of mainstream medicine to help their son. They even had a friend who was a nurse who came by and said, I'm not sure what's wrong with, your, with Ezekiel, but I think you should take him to the doctor because it could be meningitis. But they didn't do it. Why were they so afraid of mainstream medicine? What led to their opposition? I don't know. But appropriately, authorities in Canada have put the parents on trial. Now, the parents are claiming they're being persecuted persecuted for their beliefs in non-mainstream medicine. They even suggest they're being persecuted because they didn't vaccinate their little child against meningitis. Well, I don't think they're being persecuted. I think the trial is appropriate. But I don't think it's appropriate because we should punish these parents. They lost their son. They clearly love their son. By their own lights, one could say they tried to do right by their son. But something that every doctor needs to tell parents who might be interested in alternative treatment is, if your family member stays sick for more than a few days and looks seriously ill, and Ezekiel did, he was stiff from the meningitis, they couldn't easily get him into the car when he finally went through respiratory arrest, he was in pain, he was suffering, he was obviously very ill, you must take your family member, your son or your daughter, to a doctor, to a hospital. No issue, no uh, argument about it, they have to go. Remember, all that's being required is a diagnosis. We can then argue about whether there's a treatment or whether it should be forced or what should be done. But every parent, no matter whether they're pursuing mainstream medicine or alternative medicine or some cultural belief that uh, doesn't recognize uh, Western medicine, they all should have a duty, I believe, and we might consider lobbying to pass laws that say, when your child is very sick for more than a couple days, you must bring them to the doctor. And that is what I would advise telling families. Pursue the uh, philosophies you like, whether you want to pray or use horseradish smoothies or whatever you're going to do. But if that doesn't work and somebody's very sick, particularly a child, for more than 36 hours, you better take that child, you better take your family member to the hospital. I think one can believe what one wants, but when it comes to kids, or family members who are too incapacitated to say what they would want, they must go to a physician, they must go to a hospital. I'm Art Kaplan, thanks for watching.